Well, it's been a week since investigators say a boat capsized in Apache Lake. Crews already recovered the body of one boater, but another is still missing. Team 12's Erica Stapleton has more details on the tough search and how his loss has an emotional ripple effect. Anyone that knew Rick Legrand knew he made his home out on the water. Pretty much one of a kind. They're but Bryn Amon knew him for 15 years as her next door neighbor in Scottsdale. He made this neighborhood just more fun. Which is why it's been so tough to stomach. I didn't want to believe it. That Rick was one of two people to die after crews say a flash flood capsized his boat on Apache Lake last Saturday night. Rick's mother Penny has been hearing about his memory all week. And I'm not just bawling my eyes out because they've inspired me so much. Just love hearing all these stories. Search crews have been scouring the lake since Monday. Rick's friend Deanna Peterson was recovered earlier this week. As of Saturday, MCSO says they're still searching for Rick's body. And the fact that there's still no closure, it's just hard. For Bryn, Rick was much more than a neighbor. He taught her son how to ride a bike and was first to give her daughter a card after a big surgery. Always the first at the lemonade stands, always the first to support these kids. And now they're all showing their support for his family. A tribute in chalk, the bright colors for a man who made waves everywhere he went. I just don't want him to be forgotten. In Scottsdale, Erica Stapleton, 12 News.